Hey, what's up guys? My name is Acherno and welcome to a brand new series. This series is gonna teach you everything you need to know about C++. We're gonna learn C++ specifically in the context of game development. However, it's not just gonna apply to game development or game programming. We're just gonna use games as an example. This series is gonna to apply to pretty much everyone, whether you're a beginner or you're advanced. We'll cover the basics of the language, but we'll be quite concise with that. So basically, if you are a beginner, you can still follow along with this series, but you're gonna to have to be able to Google things and do some research and find find some of the basics out for yourself. Basically just be a normal person and Google things that you don't understand. I don't wanna dwell on the basics for too long and cover them in extreme detail, so just make sure you Google things and you'll be fine. So now the question is, why, why would I want to learn C++? Isn't C++ kind of an outdated language? Why, what good is there in learning C++ nowadays? So C++ is still pretty much the most used language when you need to write fast code that performs well, or if you're writing for a weird architecture or platform and you need the code to run natively. If you want direct control over hardware, C++ is for you. The games industry, for example, uses C++ extensively, and game engines like Unity, Unreal, Frostbite, they're all written in C++. So the question is why? Why would we want direct access to hardware? Why are all of these game engines written in C++? Why not use another language? The biggest reason for using C++ is the direct control over hardware. Let's talk a little bit about how C++ works. So you write your code in C++, you pass your code into a compiler, and that compiler will output machine code for your target platform. Machine code is the actual instructions that your device's CPU will actually perform. So using C++, we can literally control every single instruction that your CPU executes. What platforms does C++ run on, you ask? Pretty much anything. You just need a compiler that will output machine code for that platform. For example, an x64 compiler will output x64 machine code and thus run on x64 CPUs. So to give you an example of some of the platforms that C++ is commonly used to develop for, Windows, Mac, Linux, any other desktop operating systems, pretty much all of them. Mobile operating systems, iOS, Android, for example, you can write applications in C++ and all the consoles. So Xbox, PlayStation, all the Nintendo stuff like the 3DS, the Wii U, the Switch, everything. C++ is great when you need wide platform support because as long as there's a compiler, you can get C++ to compile into native code that will run on that platform. Of course, there are other native languages out there. It's just that C++ is the one that's been around since the early 80s and it's just so popular and everyone knows it that it's just, everyone's using it. Other languages like C Sharp or Java differ because they run on a virtual machine. This means that your code gets compiled into an intermediate language first and then when you actually run your application on that target platform, the VM, the virtual machine, will basically convert it into machine code at runtime. So picture this, if you will. Pretend that you wrote a book in English, but you want someone in Germany who only speaks German to read your book. So what you've decided to do is actually sell the book in English at the German store. However, when you buy the book, you also get like a translator, like an actual person to come home with you. I know this metaphor is getting a bit weird, but just bear with me. So the person comes home, and then when, the, when that German person wants to read the book, the translator reads the book, in English and then just basically starts talking in German. So he's like live translating the whole book for the person. That's kind of what running on a virtual machine is like. Of course, it would be a lot more efficient if you just translated the book itself into German and then sold that in German stores. So that way it would be in the native language in German. And that's of course not a perfect metaphor, but that's kind of what it's like to run C++ versus a language like Java or C Sharp. C++ is a native language. The C++ compiler produces machine code for that target platform and for that target architecture. And then that's it, it's there, it's native code. It will only run on that platform. However, it's already in that platform's machine code language. So there's absolutely no translation or anything required. You just run the machine, you just push the machine code instructions, CPU instructions into the CPU and it will perform all of your instructions. Of course, just because your code is native doesn't mean it's going to be fast. If you write bad code in C++, it's going to be slow. In fact, it'll likely even be slower than virtual machine languages like C Sharp or Java because they tend to optimize things on the fly a lot better than C++ will. So if you write bad C++, C++ will definitely be slower than C Sharp or Java. And because of that, I mean, I love using languages like C Sharp when I just need to write tools or things that don't necessarily need me to squeeze every bit of performance out of them. C Sharp is a fantastic language for that. But this series is gonna be for when we actually need that performance, for when we need to write C++. So we're gonna learn all about how to write C++ correctly, how to write good code, how to write fast code. So, what are we gonna cover, you may ask? 
Well, of course, from the beginning, we're gonna start with the basics. I'm gonna be real concise when it comes to the basics because I don't really wanna dwell on them too much. If you've never programmed before, I still do encourage you to watch this series, but as I said earlier, you're gonna have to just Google the things that you don't understand. It should be pretty easy to follow. The key to learning anything new really is just to play around with it and just to experiment with it. So I'm sure you'll be absolutely fine if you're just passionate about it and if you actually have the, w the willingness to learn. We'll talk about how to use C++'s library to your advantage and what things to kind of avoid if you care about performance. We'll talk about how C++ actually works. We'll talk about stuff like memory and pointers. Seriously, this for some reason is taught absolutely terribly in most cases. So we're gonna actually teach pointers and memory and stuff properly this time. Memory arenas, custom allocators, smart pointers, move semantics, stuff like that. Templates and how to actually use them properly. If you know how to use templates well, they're extremely powerful and they'll make your life a lot easier. We'll talk about stuff like macros and how to program for multiple platforms. We'll write our own data structures and learn how to make them a lot faster than the standard ones you get with the C++ library. We'll even cover low level optimization via compiler intrinsics and assembly such as writing our maths and SSE. And that's pretty much it. We'll probably cover a lot of things along the way. If there are specific things that you guys request or things that probably could involve me talking for 10 minutes about, I might make a separate video about them just in general. Lastly, if you wanna know who I am, I'm a software engineer who works on the game engine team at EA Melbourne. We make pretty much the best 3D mobile game engine out there. So the games that we've recently shipped were Need for Speed No Limits and Need for Speed No Limits VR. You can follow me on Twitter or Instagram if you want to get to know me better. Episodes for this series will be released around every week or so, depending on my schedule. If you want to support this series and ensure that the videos get out as soon as possible, then you can do so by going to patreon.com forward slash the Other than that, this series should be an absolute blast. I'm really looking forward to it. Let's learn C++ correctly. I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye. Vroom.